heading to Magic Kingdom! All this. And McKinnon is wearing her Elena of Avalor. She's wearing her Elena dress. She's gonna see Elena today, so it's perfect. We also packed our lunch today, so that's a new thing that we're trying out. We have never done that before, but we're going to Magic Kingdom for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Uh, Disney lunch on a budget. Oh, it's out of focus. It's also very dark over here in the back of Pecos Bill. The camera can see better than I can. Bye, sir! <laughs> Hello, I'm Victoria Trompetto, music teacher of Matrix Sir, You've got a thing growing in the front of your face. It's very scary. It's <laughs> a mole. Get that mole checked out right away. I'm glad you said it's a mole. I thought I caught a hairball and landed on there. My mind because you have like eight cats. She's a crazy cat lady. Single. So am I. Oh, you have how many? We have two. Oh, you're not crazy yet. I've Five. heard of them. We're getting there. But you have a kid. So. <laughs> I go, I go. It's off to work we go. So pay the bills. <laughs> I hope, I hope I've got seven cattle. Seven cattle. It's sleepy, dopey, dog. I go, I go. Come on, we're doing the Hamilton. I go, I go. The Hamilton? I got seven cats and I cannot lie. <laughs> They're beautiful, they're thick, and they don't fry. So the names are itch, the names are itch. I go with the seven dwarves. Happy, dopey, sleepy, dog, bashful, sneezy, grumpy. Wow. <laughs> I don't hang out with those boys. <laughs> You know, they work hard and they play hard, you know, and I just, they tumble and they rough out. And I like a more demure friend. I'm just speaking the truth, right? Yes! Yes, she's speaking the truth. She went after my, my fiance, CJ, over there, who I now call Hank, just a second ago. I mean, I just now landed this deal. I was going to sign a prenup and everything. She took the prenup out of my hand. She signed it. I said, oh, no, you don't. She said, oh yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, we're in the we, I'm taking her to court. I'm studying law. So that's why I want to look over the clean up and make sure everything was in front of But you weren't supposed to sign it. Well, I, I mean, it's signing everything. I'm a billionaire. Well, now you're engaged to him. It could be worse. <laughs> So we made a quick stop at Emporium to get me a shirt because I was like feeling oh, like I was going to get overheated in that shirt. I don't know what it is. The material was really weird. They're filming today. Something. Oh, they are. You should ask what they're filming. You want me to go ask? <laughs> ask a cast member it is. Okay. We found out what it was. Apparently. There's going to be like new ambassadors for Disney for the year. Like each year they choose new ambassadors and so this year... It's part of the cast, right? Yeah, it's part of the cast. And so this year they're like announcing who it is. Or today they're announcing who the new ambassadors are. And they're going to lead the parade. So they're filming today. But we are heading over to meet Cinderella and Elena. That is why McKinnon is dressed like Elena today. Me? It is. It is. Look how cute. She's adorable. Is it her first time in the kingdom? No. I think she'll have to come visit Avalor when she's a little bit older. Then we can fly with the Jackwins together, right? Have the Avalorian chocolate. Yes, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know about my friend Skyler? I don't know, like he was like, he might have 
somebody to give you a jack when you kiss me. <laughs> Like it was like all in my face and just up here. Like I'm already almost dry. So Matthew's like, okay, I'll do Splash Mountain. Matthew had a very different experience. <laughs> Matthew. First off, first off, they put me on the front. So <laughs> I was on the third row. <laughs> I, I should have known that it was gonna be bad whenever here, I'll take this take instead it. of this weird thing you're doing. Yeah. I should have known it was going to be bad whenever the first lady that got out in front of me on the ride says, you're going to get wet. <laughs> so that was my first cue. I should have moved. But on the first little drop, my pants got soaked. <laughs> and then from then on out, it was just a mess until I hit the the end of the ride when you're going down the main hill. The water just blasted in my face. Oh, it was wonderful. Just so, so wonderful. So, it is nice though, because I am drying off pretty quick, because it's a thousand five degrees out here, but now we're gonna go on pirates, so it's gonna be fun. Dog nuggets and fries. That's what we got, corn dog nuggets and fries. <laughs> it's the monthly special loaded fries, which has a jalapeno popper. Wow. It was either fries or a food long hot dog to get this. And then I got the frozen mint and julep lemonade. This duck is like all up in McKinnon's business. <laughs> Good. 
festival center and then Sugar Ray is at Eat to the Beat tonight so we might head over there unless like by the time we're done at the festival center it's gonna be like towards the end of that so we'll see you can currently see inside there when you come into the festival center, there's a map and here is everything all around. If you're looking for the pass holder magnet thing, it's all right here in the middle. But so right now the line either way is you go. all the way yeah. to here. <laughs> it's Which all is not a long down. line because they're just passing magnets. It's not like yeah. they're doing stuff. But some of the things that they've got, like this little theater right here is for coffee demonstrations hosted by Joffrey's. So they show like brewing coffee and espresso and stuff. Yeah. And then um, festival wine shop, you can do like wine flights or buy bottles of wine that are like the fancy wines you get at the food and wine festival. And then Stockpot Shop, was that the one? Stockpot I thought was, isn't that just like the one, it's the cooking stuff. It's like the Disney cooking store. I think so. Where you can buy Food Wine Festival themed pots and glasses and stuff like that. And then they've got the chocolate thing, which is the Ghirardelli chocolate from Bean to the Bar. That's where you can see. Yeah. That's where we saw the chocolate. Yeah, that's where uh, we saw the chocolate sculptures. sculptures yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they've also got a Festival Center stage over here, which they've got more demonstrations going on. And I think that one is the one where they've got like a full kitchen demonstration. Yeah. Where they show you like how to make a whole dish. Yeah. I'm not sure what craft drafts is. I think that's just like different beers that you can try yeah, in a little so. area. And, the and then there's a simmer, shimmering, shimmering sips mimosa bar. Yeah. But they've got the um, they have apple an ap frozen pie. frozen apple pie. Yeah, which is apple. It's like red. What kind of apple? Red delicious. Red Great red. Delicious. Delicious. Delicious red. Red Some delicious. Type of, whatever the red, a red apple. apple is. And it's like apple flavoring. And then they have. An apple, apple filling. Apple crust mm -hmm. toppings. Yeah, it has filling and apple crust toppings Ooh, on top. That. Yeah, that's pretty like There wild. was a filling and top and crust on top. Yeah, and then so, they've got like, yeah. all sorts of little um, muffins and things like that, two little snacks. So. Yeah, like Danish and that's just nice pastries. About this. It's not and all stuff. alcohol stuff. Like yeah, you can get the chocolate, alcohol. you can get little sweet drinks and stuff. Yeah. But there's all sorts of stages with demonstrations and stuff. So make sure you check out all the all the stage timings and not like check the schedule on the app yeah. or the website. Because so. in the evenings there's not like anything happening. Like right now there's not anything happening. Like it's pretty cool looking too. Ouch. Ooh. What's in it? Ooh, Viking moose. <laughs> oh, it went blurry. 
Much like the focus on the camera, you were unclear and then all of a sudden it hit you. <laughs> it looks really good. Are you going to share with me once you carve away from the uh, coconut? Yeah. Because, you know, the coconut is my arch nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> and the coconut on the outside is really good. Though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So good. We gotta stop at Club Cool first. They have Bebo. Who's here? Are you gonna get Bebo? Yeah. Bebo, Bebo. It's a DJ Kiwi Mango. Bebo is so good. The trick is a blend of two things. We need this. That's Barberry. Ew. Beverly. It's magically delicious. Let me try. So this is a mix of Sparberry, Sparberry and Beverly. Beverly. Mm -hmm. It's always the aftertaste that gets you. And here's the melt, ladies and gentlemen. But Ugh. Sparberry makes it not as bad. Not as bad, but still pretty pungent, at, depending on how you live. We are leaving Epcot. Had, and we're heading back to our car, which is actually very close <laughs> because we're parked in cast parking. <laughs> which, just because they started following them on the Yeah, they started sending people to like random parking because it was so full when we got here. So everyone was like getting sent to cast parking and like RV parking. It was really weird. So, anyway, we're parked super close. <laughs> So that's pretty awesome, but gonna wrap it up. So thanks for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share or comment, whatever you'd like to do. I love talking to y'all down in the comments and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. One thing to say. What? Hi ho, let's go to the parking lot to our car. I don't know. <laughs>